Hey everyone, Girl Meets Pixels here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very exciting video for you guys and it is Cobalt Abode, which is a family home that was built by Kiwi Simming and basically this is just a collab video that we did. She built the house, which is gorgeous, I am in love with this house, and then I decorated it. So this is just my portion of our collab, which is just me decorating it and her video will be linked down below in the description bar so you can go check that out and see how she built this house. I seriously love all of her builds. She is an amazing builder, so make sure to go give her some love because she is such a great YouTuber. She really is. So we're starting off in the kitchen, which is typically where I start my decorating videos or decorating a house because it's the main center of the home. That's how I think of the kitchen. So the style that happens in the kitchen is what will be portrayed through the rest of the house. So. I'm just doing the layout and everything. I don't record any of my creative style stuff, or not creative style, or yeah, I guess it would be like creative style uh, for the patterns and stuff of the fine tuning of the decor. I don't record any of that because it takes me forever and I promise you, you guys do not want to see me do that. So you guys will just see me doing, you know, the decorating of the house, the placement, the layout. But I just finished the walk-in pantry, which is a really fun idea I thought I would put in there. And then I'm also adding a wet bar so they can, you know, have some drinks after dinner. And it's just all right there so they don't have to go too far. Uh, so here's a glimpse into after I recolored everything. And I'm just showing a little bit of my recoloring. I figured you guys might want to see a little bit of that, but there won't be too much of that throughout this video but yeah so the kitchen is almost done we're almost done with that and we'll be moving into the lower downstairs bathroom but i put that shelf in like little sea saw thing not sea saw like a sawhorse i put it together to make it like a shelf table thing i don't know i thought it looked pretty cute kind of crafty kind of cool and then there's just that chalkboard that I use in all of my houses because it's literally the cutest thing ever. This house does contain a handful of custom content stuff, but I figured you guys tend to like all my custom content that I usually use. I'm very picky on what I do have in my game, so it will come with the house. Hopefully that's okay. If not, uh, you guys can just delete it and delete it out of your game. But here's the walk-in pantry. I'm adding like cooking books and flour and sugar jars and cookies and just kind of random stuff that you would have in a pantry but this is just you know obviously just for looks it's not usable or anything but it's really cute I like it so we're in the downstairs powder room and I did a very like neutral th theme throughout the entire house everything kind of has like grays soft blues and browns to it so it has a little bit of warmth but it is actually kind of like a cooler toned house which is typically what I like also there's a lot of dark wood which is something that I just love and I can't I cannot not decorate with it <laughs> so just your typical powder room mirror counters toilet you know all the necessities, adding a little bit of flowers and stuff to liven up the space. I'll add like some picture frames later and a mirror to really make the room feel bigger than it actually is. But I really, really love how this house turned out. I really do. Um, I do use the same color scheme for all the bathrooms, which is typically not something I do. I tend to do different looks for different rooms. And the wallpaper throughout the entire house is the same except for the bathrooms, which is also something I don't normally do, but it was just such a big house to make it seem more uniform and together. I had to do, you know, the same color scheme. So I'm just adding in some pictures while trying to. Uh, and then we move over to this little bonus room. You can make it whatever the heck you want it to be. For me, I kind of had to imagine a little bit of a family since there is no intended family for this house. I needed to kind of have a purpose for this room. So I'm just pretending that the mom or the dad, they run a daycare. And so this would be, you know, like their little daycare center for the toddlers and stuff and the kids so that they can come and play and just have like their own separate room where they can keep an eye on them. So that's kind of what I pretended it to be. Uh, you can use it for that or you can totally make this like another bedroom. You can make it um, another office. I have an office upstairs so you can totally make it whatever the heck you want it to be but I just decided to be a little creative and do that. And I actually really like how it turned out. I think it's really adorable. Next we move into the foyer which is 
huge. I did not know how to decorate this at all. I was so worried. I was like, how am I going to fill the space? But I was able to make it work and it actually turned out really cute. I definitely was the room that took me the longest, but I really love how it turned out. So here we're just putting like a little cubby for the kids. I mean, this is a family home. So I picture that they have, you know, quite a bit of kids, three or more kids, you know, so they need a space to store all their stuff. And there's a little chair there so they can sit down and put their shoes on. And there's like some workout stuff, you know, just kind of thrown there, make it look lived in. And then this is just a little trunk with a mirror above it. And then a little side table with, I think a picture and just, I'm just trying to fill the space. <laughs> like I said, I had the hardest time trying to fill it. So I eventually made it work. Um, for the rugs, I had to put down three rugs because the biggest rug I had still wasn't big enough. So I just layered these three rugs and then I later colored them to all look cohesive and flow. So it actually turned out really cute. I actually really like the rugs. And then I'm just going in and adding lighting. I always love, here's a little tip for you guys. If you turn it to nighttime, that's the best way to put the lighting because it looks, you might not know where to put the proper lighting for the house to be lit. It's gonna be the most important at night, so yep. And then I also had some trouble with the stairs. I wanted to put some new stairs in, but it just would not work for me. I don't know why, it just was not. So I went in with some custom content stairs, which are like an L-shaped stair, which are my favorite and just put those in so definitely I use these all the time they're so cute and they're kind of a space saver ish I really like them though and they kind of broke up the room a little bit so it wasn't so big of a space and then I just went in and changed the layout of the little family room just so that there was a bigger walkway for the sims to be able to make it through because you know how they are with their routing issues <laughs> And then I was just trying to figure out what to put in this tiny little corner. So I put a little dog bed and some toys. I pictured their family they probably have a dog. You could even make it a cat if you want. Um, just, you know, fill up the space and it's a little place for the family pet to rest. And then I was putting in um, a side table just, you know, they can drop stuff or whatever. They'd be like, oh, here's the dog leash or their keys. I wish there was like a little catch-all bowl that I could put there. Maybe I'll find some for custom content or something like that. So I also had to figure out how to fill up this space and I just made it like a little uh, rec room. This is where a lot of like the activities can go on. So I just put like a little locker for the baby or the toddler so that they can be in the parents' vicinity. And then I put a drafting table because I never put drafting tables in my houses. So I figured I want to do something that I nor don't normally do. And then I also put in a little art area, which I almost always do. And then I just add a rug and like a little swing. So if they do run like a daycare that they, they can also have the kids there too, you know? So just, you know, adding more stuff to make it more realistic. And then just adding some lighting and then putting a little record player there so they can listen to music while they work on whatever they're working on. Then we move into like the little TV room, family room. This was such a weird space to work with. I just didn't know how to Put it together i don't know i just i i'm not fully fully happy with how it turned out but it's the best i could do <laughs> and it works i mean i just needed them to have a place where they could sit down and watch tv so that's basically the purpose of this room they can just sit down watch a movie together and talk and whatnot so it's a little bit secluded of an area away from the rest of the house so it was just kind of i don't know a little bit more cozier a little bit tighter of a space for sure but i think it turned out pretty cute to be quite honest but yeah, and then I'm just adding decor on the walls, mirrors to make the space look bigger, and stuff on the coffee table to make it look, you know, realistic. That's my favorite thing, is making the house look like it's been lived in. And that's kind of the key to making really nice, like, Sims houses, is just make it look realistic. Think about what's in your house and put it into your Sims house. So I also added a little sitting corner for decoration, and then adding a little... Um, I added a guitar in that corner. I didn't show it though. And then we move upstairs to the office. I actually really liked how this room turned out. It took me like 10 minutes, which was shorter than all the other rooms, but I really like it. So I put the desk facing the door because that's good feng shui. Uh, you don't want your back to the door, so you want to face it or be near it. Uh, that's like a big thing for me. And then I just put bookcases, like a full wall of bookcases, which I actually really like how it turned out. And then just like a little couch and a painting to 
decorate you know the room just kind of fill some space and I also put a chess table in there so they can work on their logic skill and I really like putting it in front of the bookcase I don't know if the bookcase is still usable because of it but it's okay there's other bookcases in the house then we move over to the upstairs shared bathroom and I did like an L shape with the counters which normally I don't do but they had the space so why not use it and then there's just like the full wall of mirrors to really open up the space and actually the room seems bigger than you would think it does to be quite honest and then just adding like makeup and a blow dryer just make it look like they're getting ready in front of their mirror and whatnot and then I was trying to figure out the placement for the toilet and the shower so I put a separate like water closet for the toilet so it's hidden and then putting the shower and tub duo right there and putting a rug of course and a towel so it looks like they just used it or something like that and then I think I put a plant in the corner and I put a medicine cabinet above the toilet, which is something I've been really liking lately. I don't know why. I just like the look of the medicine cabinet before, above the toilet. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and then we just add some lighting because you want to be able to see in the bathroom, right? Right. And then I was trying to figure out what else I could put on the counter, but I think, yeah, I put some towels. I was like, I don't know. I, I need something else there. It's too bare. And then I just add a toilet paper roll. Then we move out to the upstairs foyer. And this was a really weird space to work with too, just like the downstairs hallway. So I put in this little reading nook corner with the tree bookcase, which is literally my favorite bookcase. It is so adorable. I put some beanie bag chairs and a hanging chair just to make it a little bit more for the kids so they can go sit down and read. And then I put in a dominoes table because I've been really liking my Sims to play it lately because it really gets their fun up. So why not? And just adding lighting so we can, you know, see. It's very important. But I kind of had a hard time figuring out what else I wanted to place in this area. It was just kind of weird. So I ended up putting like a TV and I figured this is like the video game TV. So you can play your video games. It's more for the kids. I figured the upstairs foyer is more for the kids. Well, like the downstairs living room with the TV is more for the parents kind of thing. Um, and I'm just adding some knickknacks all around the the room I put a piano and a bass so there's like a little bit of a music area I also put a dart board so they can play darts and I think it should work I did test the house with my sim I went, had them walk around and do the different activities forgot to test the dart though uh, but for the most part everything works perfectly so you should have no routing issues and then I put another dog bed up there Next we move into the master bedroom and it is smaller of a bedroom but they do get an ensuite bathroom so kind of makes up for it. I just did a simple bed and then a little couch at the end of their bed and then I add in lights and I think a picture. I end up putting a picture there instead of a mirror and I also put in this dresser which is super cute. I've never used this dresser before and I was like where did this come from but it's really cute. And then yeah, I ended up putting a picture there because I didn't like the mirror there. It looked really weird. Then we move into their bathroom, which is the same color scheme as everyone else's bathrooms. Uh, just a little bit of different pieces of furniture because the other pieces were way too big. So we needed something a little bit more delicate in here because it is such a tiny space. But it actually ended up working out really well. I actually really like how the bathroom turned out, even though it's really small. <laughs> it's pretty cute though. I like it. And then we're just adding outlets and light switches, which is my favorite thing to do because it makes it look realistic. And then we move into one of the other bedrooms and I put basically a bunk bed so two kids could fit in here and then a crib so even a baby or a toddler could fit in here. So it's a pretty big sized room um, so you could actually fit quite a few sims in here. And I just added a desk so they can work on their homework. I always love adding that into my kids' rooms because they'll go upstairs and work on their homework in their room, which is so much nicer than them sitting on the floor. Uh, and then I'm just adding lights, per usual. And I also add in like a little changing table so you can, you know, change the baby's diaper. And I also added this cute little rocking horse, which I thought was adorable, and then also a costume chest. So they can dress up and be like a knight or a dragon. Super cute. And then we move into the other bedroom, which I put down as like a boys' teenage room. I eventually, I, not eventually, but I originally wanted to make it like a neutral teen room, but it ended up looking a little bit more boyish. So I ended up going that route. So you can totally change it up and make it a girl room though. No problem in that. But I just added this really cool rug. It's kind of graphic 
y like triangle and stuff. It's really cool. I liked it. I was gonna say cute, but it's not cute. It's cool. <laughs> um, and this added a dresser in there too, so they can you know change into their clothes and whatnot. And then I put a mirror above it and a little uh, picture that says "Be bold and be brave," which you know I felt like good manly um, mantra right there. And then I was trying to figure out what else to put on the walls. That wall was such a big wall, but it looked kind of weird. I ended up adding some posters and such. And then I didn't know what to put behind the desk because I did angle it. So I put the little chalkboard and eventually I take out that tree and put in a stereo so he can like turn on his music and listen to it while working on his homework. And then we hop on outside and I went into by debug mode and added some plants in a little garden area. So your Sims can garden. There's like apple trees and tomato plants and potatoes in there. So definitely get some fresh veggies, which is pretty cool. I always like having gardens. It's always really cute too. And then we moved down to the lower level and at first I was like, oh, I'll add a shed. And then I was like, no, Brittany, that looks stupid. <laughs> so um, I took the shed out and eventually add um, like a playground area for the kids. I was like, Originally, I was going to put in the shed, like, bikes and stuff, but I just, it looked really stupid. So I was like, never mind. Scratch that. We're going to do something different. Uh, so I take out some of the terrain paint and add some playground stuff so that if they do run a daycare, they can have the kids go play outside in the summer and just have fun out there. Plus, the kids that live there will enjoy it. So I added some sand below it to make it, you know, look more realistic. I also added a fire pit so the parents and... Whenever they throw parties, can like all the people and guests can sit there and toast marshmallows around the fire. And then I added like a little sitting area so um, they can sit and watch the kids and just kind of relax, get a tan and whatnot, you know, while the kids play and all that fun stuff. And then also in the garage, I added a chemistry set and like the little workshop thing from Ambition so that they can build and whatever, whatever they want to do with it. And then up here, I added like a patio area so they have like a sitting area and then also a grill and a eating area so they can uh, in the summer cook up some hamburgers and spend some time outside as a family you know it's very much a family home so i wanted that to be reflected so yes anyways this tutorial will be or not this tutorial it's not a tutorial this video will be ending up uh, ending soon so Thank you guys so much for watching. There will be pictures at the end so you can see all the finished rooms. Make sure to go check out Kiwi Seeming's channel because she is literally amazing. So thank you guys again. I will see you all in my very next video. Bye guys.
so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you aren't already subscribed, make sure to click that button down below. If you want to see more of me, you can check out my links to the side. I have my Twitter where I ramble all day. And I also have my other YouTube channel where I make beauty and fashion videos. So make sure to check them out. Thank you guys again for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye.